you mess up once, you end up in the desert. I think everybody's watched the movie Casino. I own a detail company in Vegas uh, since 1994, and that's quite a long time. And of course, as you know, uh, Vegas is driven by what? Gaming and entertainment, and the casinos happen to be um, my clients. Uh, that being said, I have a lot of stories of different executives and people and management and dealers and pit bosses. One day, a guy comes into my shop in Vegas. He's driving a brand new Ferrari. It was a 360 Stradale. He said, hey, I heard about you're the best guy on black cars, yada, yada, yada. And I said, can I ask what you're, who, who are you? And he says, oh, you don't know who I am? And I said, no, I, I really don't. He says, I'm Mark Shore. And I said, great, nice to meet you, Mark Shore. He said, you still don't know who I am. And I said, really, I, I really don't. And, and I don't mean that with disrespect, Mr. Shore. And he said, well, I am Steve Wynn's brother-in-law. Uh, and I am an avid Ferrari guy. In fact, I'm going to bring Ferrari into Las Vegas. Uh, we're gonna buy a franchise, we're gonna team up with Penske, and we're gonna put in a new hotel called The Wynn. But that being said, I need the best of the best work on my car. She went to a body shop at the time who I was servicing. It's called Exotic Car Paintworks in Vegas. He's the go-to authorized Ferrari, Rolls, Bentley. And so Mark says, well, I want you to work on this car. He says, great. And he says, so after a couple months of working on his cars, he was a great client. He was coming to me often. Um, he said, I, I really would like to introduce you to, to my you know, brother-in-law. And I said, okay, great. Can you come down to the Mirage? And I said, yeah, sure. So I get down the Mirage and I walk in this crazy James Bond looking offices. And there's a secretary, and I feel like Miss Penny's sitting there at the desk. And she says, would you like some coffee, cappuccino, some champagne? And I'm thinking, like, I'm just a detail guy. What am I doing here? And uh, I walk in, there's Mr. Wynn, Mr. Steve Wynn. And she shakes my hand and says, you know, I've got a bunch of different cars. Uh, Mark speaks very highly of you. My wife is very particular, Elaine at the time. And uh, we want you to start working not just on our personal cars, but we want you to work on all the cars. In fact, I'm going to give you keys to my cars, and you're going to be in charge of my personal fleet. I have a property um, out in the middle of the desert called Shadow Creek. I don't know if you've ever heard of Shadow Creek. It's a very uh, famous resort, which he basically built this oasis out in the middle with pine trees and forests in the middle of the desert. It's like 300 acres. And I used to go out there and pick up the cars and I would go to the gate and there would be guys standing there with AR-15s. They all knew me. And I would pull up and it was the most surreal experience pulling into this resort where you felt like you were not in Vegas. You felt like you were, I don't know where, somewhere else where in the world. But when I pulled in, I had the clickers to the garage doors. I had the keys to the cars. I mean, I'm like 20 some years old. And I had all this trust. But I also at the same time, I worried because you don't mess with these guys, right? You mess up once, you end up in the desert. I think everybody's watched the movie Casino. The point is, is that the relationship, the, the Vegas was a small town, it was a good old boy town. And what I started to learn was build relationships with the people who made this town and it'll make your business. And I did it really quickly. You know, I built trust with these guys and I was operating out of a little shopping center that I got a special use permit to put a wash rack or canopy in if you watch my YouTube video. Elaine, his wife, was into Bentleys. They had a black flying spur. In fact, I can, if I can try to dig up the pictures, I think I have the pictures with, she had a vanity plate and it was the same letters and everybody knew that was Lane's car. Steve was not into cars, he wasn't passionate. I would say Elaine was more passionate about cars. So she had uh, two uh, black flying spurs for a couple of years when we were working with the cars and then you know, their house was next door to Mark's house and then their garage sometimes would have Steve's cars or vice versa. But they probably between the two garages had between eight and 10 cars parked there, you know, and then they had some cars on the casino properties because they would sometimes stay in the casino properties, uh, then come home, you know. There were some very peculiar things I found in the cars uh, and, I, and, you know, obviously due to privacy, I can't share that. But uh, let's just say the mafia stories were real, you know, as far as like uh, things that you see that you're not supposed to talk about. But I always respected their cars. Mark was the one that talked Steve into getting the Ferraris. He always told me, he's like, I think cars are cool, uh, but it's not my passion. Uh, real estate's my passion, building businesses is my passion, 
And I mean, I have very, very brief conversations with him. It wasn't like we sat there and talked for a long time. But the thing about Mr. Wynn, there's a couple stories. One is, I remember, is in the late 90s, uh, early 2000s, I don't know exactly when, I got called down to his office and he pulls me in and says, uh, you're doing a great job, I'm really impressed. In fact, I have an opportunity for you. And I said, great. And he said, you're gonna come work for me. And I said, work for you? I don't wanna work for anybody. He said, I'll give you stock, you'll be set for life. You're gonna run my transportation. I said, Mr. Wynn, I really respect this opportunity, but I gotta tell you, I can't do it. I'm, I, I think you understand, you've been your own boss. You, you know, I, I know your story. And he said, I, I support that, but you're never touching one of my cars again. And he said, have a good day, Mr. Light. And I walked out and I said, wow, that was a great time to serve somebody of that level of business. I respected him. And I was a little sad walking out because I was like, well, am I gonna lose Mark? Sure, as a client. And fortunately, I didn't lose Mark as a client. Um, and when the Ferrari dealership did open, they did create their own detail department. But when they had very particular customers, they would call me on the phone and say, hey, we need your help. Um, at that time, it was Rich Kansky, who was service manager, who was service manager at the Porsche dealership, who I knew when I started the business, and now he's the service manager for Tobin Ferrari. But, you know, there's a lot of stories in Vegas. That was one. If anybody's ever heard the story about the win in the Ferrari franchise, I can't say firsthand I was there or saw it, but I had very close friends and inside people that could tell me the facts of what really happened. Apparently, Mr. Wynn had bought a La Ferrari. And if anybody knows about the, when you buy a La Ferrari and brand new, you, you have a agreement with Ferrari that you will not resell the car. I think it's for two years. And Mr. Wynn hated the car and he wanted to get rid of it and he found a buyer. And at that time, uh, Ferrari came in to the Wynn where the franchise was within the hotel and said, you know, we're gonna have a marketing meeting. And then in the conversation came up, Mr. Wynn, what happened to your La Ferrari? And he said, I sold it. And they said, hey, you cannot do that. That's not what you do. You have an agreement with us, you are a franchise owner. And it got into an argument. And Mr. Wynn does not play. Uh, it's his rules or you hit the road. And he basically got into a quite heavy discussion and debate and, and turned into an argument where they said, we're pulling your franchise. And at this time, Mr. Wynn was on 100% ownership of the dealership. I mean, Penske and him are partners. Pesky calls him on the phone and says, you know, what, what's going on? And he said, they could take this Ferrari and up there, and you can go from there. But, and so anyway, Steve said, I, I don't care. Uh, in fact, uh, I escorted him off the property with my security and told him don't ever come back on the property again. And this is true. He escorted him off. Ferrari management. I mean, Steve, like I said, is a very determined man when he wants something. It is what he says. It's non-negotiable. So they got escorted off the property and immediately the franchise was up for sale. And from what I understand, they contacted the Tobin family, um, who is the Bentley and Rolls in Austin Martin. And they said, 100%, we want it. And they took over the franchise. So that was kind of an interesting story. Um, I knew Mr. Wynn servicing him that he was great as long as it was on his terms. And if it wasn't something he didn't want, you weren't part of his life and business or personal, that's it, you're done. And uh, But you gotta respect a guy like that. I mean, he made what Vegas is today um, as a world destination, a visionary. And when somebody's like that and they have their focus, you gotta respect the fact that they get things done. Um, and I think the Italians understood that. I mean, everybody knows the Ferrari and the Ford GT story. And it kind of reminds me of that battle between two alphas. You know, we're the brand of the world, but we're the casino of the world. And then the two come together and what do you got? Premier Financial Services has been a sponsor of Benwicky for the last four years, and we can't thank them enough for their support, and we love them for that, but also because their simple lease truly is a tremendous product in the world of exotic car financing. They allow you to minimize your payment, minimize your down payment, take all the tax advantages that are available for a lease, while still giving you the ability to move in and out of cars and accumulate equity. 
So they structure it in a very unique way that's hugely advantageous, gives you a lot more buying power, and their customer service is absolutely incredible. So we love Mitch and their team for their continued support of the channel. We thank them for that, but please visit them at the link in the description below and find out how easy it is to buy your dream car through Premier Financial Services.